Hey guys, in this video I'll be comparing the performance of various windscreens on microphones. When recording audio, it is very important to have a shield on your mic to filter wind noise. This is mainly to deal with natural wind found outdoors, but even moving a mic indoors can create wind noise. There are many different types of windshields. I'll be comparing the most common ones in order from the least wind screening to the most. To conduct the test, I'll have the same NTG3 Boom microphone set up at the same distance from a fan set to high. The microphone will be plugged into my camera which will automatically set levels for the audio. This will allow you to hear the differences between the various windscreens. After you hear the raw audio, I'll edit the audio to provide the best sound I can from each windscreen. The first setup I'll test is the Bear NTG3 Boom microphone. It will have no windscreen and act as a control group. Next, I'll apply a fur windscreen to the microphone. This is a standard windscreen that is used on many microphones. The fur helps absorb the noise generated by wind, leading to a clearer recording. After the fur windscreen, I will encase the microphone in a blimp windshield. These windshields are used for recording audio in a more professional environment, such as film sets. They use small screens throughout the blimp structure to filter out wind noise. Lastly, I will apply a fur windscreen to the blimp windshield. This is about the most wind protection you can get for a microphone. I recommend wearing headphones to hear the differences between these setups. There you have it, a comparison between the various windscreen setups. It's not a very scientific one, but it shows you the broad differences between them. Obviously, the blimp with the fur windscreen performs the best. It is the most expensive setup though. For most situations, I have found that a good fur windscreen can work well. I use the blimp setup when I know that wind is going to be a factor, and that I can accommodate having a larger setup. The blimp cannot be mounted on a camera and needs to have a person holding it in most situations. I hope this video helped show you the differences between the various types of windscreens. Thanks for watching.